Well, the good news just keeps rolling on into February. Time to crack open that whiskey and celebrate. Hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me, as always, is Prospector Johnny. And I'm, I'm cracking open the whiskey, Johnny. It's celebration time. Uh-oh. It's, oh, this is like oh. a month. The whole year of 1862 so far has been like coming up union. Just win after win after win, win after, after win. Win after uh, win. Just, like, just is just, this is like, the war's over. It's going to be over. This, war's this over? Year. No, but it's going to oh. be. It's going to be. Uh, yeah. It can't last more than, than this year. There's too much. Okay, you also on. can't do that to me. You can't just say war's mm. over after drinking whiskey to celebrate. Yeah. And then, all, right, all right, so. Fair enough. I'm getting, I'm getting, war's getting not over, it's but not good over. things happen. Good things happen. This week. Yes. For the North. Yes. All right, let's hear him. So the week opens up with General Grant personally scouting Fort Donaldson on the 7th. So he's out there on February seventh himself, like like with you know. At Fort Donaldson, I'm sorry. A quick reminder. Is... Uh, that's the last remaining fort that that blocks us to get into Tennessee. So the gotcha. Kentucky okay, line yeah. has been smashed and broken. It's all effectively yep. useless at this point. We're now on and our way to go Fort into, Donaldson. Yeah, we're wanting to go into the... Tennessee. That Fort Donaldson's the last step. Grant took is over. Just, is, is, Fort is Henry because last it's, week. Is, is there a river separate? Is it a yes, r- r- bridge? River, yes, yes, okay, river, okay, river, over river. the river. Gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. River. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So Grant continues to solidify his troops uh, in, in his recently acquired Fort Henry. He's bringing more and more troops in. He moves his gunboats down the Tennessee River to the Ohio yeah. River in preparation for the attack on Fort Donaldson. Okay. Uh, realizing Wait. that the Kentucky line was broken, Confederates uh, underneath General A.S. Johnson recalls General Gideon Pillow from Clarksville, Tennessee, and General John Floyd from Russville, Kentucky, to Fort Donaldson. So he's bringing up basically any troops that he has to Fort Donaldson because he knows it's only a matter of time before Grant. It's an all way. all hands on deck situation for him, essentially. Yes. Now we put we put boats on the Ohio because it connects with whatever. Yes. River yep. 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 yep, yep, yep. All the rivers. <laughs> okay. There's rivers and. There's, I was gonna say because Ohio is between Indiana and Kentucky. Yeah. The, well, there's the Ohio River. There's Tennessee River. There's another couple of different rivers. There's a bunch of rivers that are. Fl- anyways, and these are all eventually flowing. Grant's flowing I towards imagine. Fort Donaldson, whatever river he happens to he's be a, on. He's so a many damn coming. rivers in in, in in the United States. So. He's a coming for him. He's a coming for him. Uh, uh, Meanwhile, Confederate General Johnston, Beauregard, and Hardy have a meeting to discuss the very dire situation. The rest, they're like, shit. (laughs) This is not going good for us. Yeah. Problems are to be had, so we got to figure out how to solidify, like, do some kind of defense because at this point uh yeah well i mean that's the all hands on deck thing yeah they've got to figure something else out (laughs) i mean if they lose tennessee like if we, or if we get a foothold in it and, and have yeah, access I mean, into, so again, quick I mean, recap reminder: Anaconda Plan. The big parts of the Anaconda Plan are to blockade the coast and to take over the Mississippi River to you know split the Confederacy in two. Mm-hmm. And really, if we get into Tennessee, not mission accomplished, but we're we're well on our way at that. Pretty point. Pretty darn close at this point, yeah. right? Yeah. Because. I mean, at this point, at that point, if we get to if we get into Tennessee, it's a waiting game. Yeah, and if and if you remember, yeah, and if you remember from a, from a few weeks back, Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln ordered that there was an invasion of New Orleans too, as well down yep. down. Oh, that, yeah, so, so we're we even get, coming up from the bottom there too, which hasn't started yet. But if we get New Orleans, when's that coming? And we, we know? It's 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 on the. It's supposed to be happening okay, in the next just, couple of months. We'll see what what actually winds up okay. happening. But we're on that that path. We've got great stuff going on in North Carolina. We We've got great stuff going on down in Kentucky, going on in mm-hmm. Tennessee. The Kentucky line, like I said, is broken. So if we get Nolens and we get and into we got Tennessee, that metal boat like that's with we're the there turrets. in the metal boat with the turrets. Yeah, the the cheese wheel. I mean, yep, yep, see yep, 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 yep. I actually not see you. Um, uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting yeah, they're, that they're the end result of, yeah. of this is not any sort of defeat. It is a uh, bringing bring your, back yeah, together bring your, of two countries. Yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to reunite. <laughs> not two countries. Hey, hey, hey! Not two, don't don't ignore no, the no, 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 two, por- two, par- two two parts two parts of the same country. Same country. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's 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 brothers getting brothers getting mad at brothers. Hug right. after blooding up their mouth, each other's mouths. They're wearing the get along shirt. Yep. Uh, also on the seventh, Union General Burnside is going to move his troops from the Hatteras Inlet uh, off North Carolina <laughs> to the Roanoke Islands in North Carolina to okay. assault Confederate positions there. Burnside quickly defeats the few underarmed Confederate naval defenders around that area oh. uh, and begins his landing of troops on uh, Roanoke Island on the 7th, on the night of I the I wonder 7th. why they're underarmed. Because they don't have the money or supplies to do it. They These are basically, they're not rowboats with guns, but they're rowboats with the guns. Uh, uh, I'm uh, over-exaggerating uh, uh, a little bit, but uh, not really. But the South doesn't have anything in the way of supplies. No. And, Johnny, these troop movements will lead to the Battle of Roanoke Island on the 8th. So this is our big victory here this week. Uh, Burnside is going to move his force of 75. Yeah, he's going to move his 7,500 men inland on the island against the vastly, vastly outnumbered 2,000 Confederate forces that are defending there. Holy moly. Vastly outnumbered, like almost. Did they just straight up, like, see them coming and be like, "Mm, uh, no, thank you? Uh, <laughs> almost four to one, not three to one. Uh, almost yeah. four to one. Yeah, yeah, vastly outnumbered. Confederate commander Henry Vice, uh, he is ill during this whole battle and cannot <laughs> like he's like he's bedridden. He can't, <laughs> like he's like command. So they so his, they yeah, are it's gonna fall to understaffed by four to one and nearly yeah, the, and the also, also their leader sick. is sick and has, can't. has some. Has a tummy ache. He's got a tummy. He's got the. He's got the. I don't know if it's dysentery, but I'm gonna say it's dysentery. <laughs> Probably. He's shitting on the he's out. Yeah, he around. can't help. Uh, so he he falls command to Colonel H M Shaw, who's not equipped. Like you're um, outnumbered four to one at this point. You're I mean, you're not equipped to like just. Surrender. It doesn't matter what general. It, yeah, it doesn't matter who takes four the reins. Four big. There. It's hard. It's. Uh, Burnside moves his men rapidly down the center of the wooded island, quickly pushing Confederate defenders uh, north, easily overrunning their rapidly built entrenchments. So the Confederates do try to, like, they they see, <laughs> they they throw see Burnside some landing over. They see Burnside <laughs> landing on his rowboats over the last six months, and instead of attacking those rowboats, they're like, we'll dig a <laughs> hole. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> they, they dug some holes, they piled some sticks up. And it didn't, uh, didn't work. Maybe ran some string across a couple of trees. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and they just stepped right over it. Yeah, That's what they right. did. That's, <laughs> did, uh... <laughs> did. Did not work. <laughs> or walked right around that hole in the ground. Quickly pushed them aside. And, uh, and not a lot of time or details needed to spend on this battle because it wasn't. I mean, it's it's quick. That's not a battle. It's quick. It's a, it's a chasing of uh, people who are scared. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> like over. It's, it's, they chased them until they couldn't chase them anymore. It's an overwhelming victory. Uh, Colonel Shaw, with his troops, pushed to the north end of the island with their back against the water. Have no choice but to surrender his entire yeah. force of 2,000 men, Johnny. This is Huge. Holy this cow. has got to be one of the bigger victories of the war so far. Two thousand men gone. Huge. Now, uh, and then we took them, and yeah, yeah. are we putting them into camps, yes, places? Yeah, yeah. So now, so now, okay. So now, yeah. We have rumor has it there's mouse, actually going to be some camp. Feet, yeah, there's, there's rumors going to be there's going to be a prison camp in Indianapolis. We'll see if that what? pans oh. out in the future. Uh, but these two thousand men are All captured, right. including some reinforcements that arrive too late to assist in the fences. Like they arrive over the water, like on the north end. Like, We're here to ha- oh. hey. Oh. Oh, so you're saying we should have turned back? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> get, is it too uh, late? Can we still... Uh, we were not a part of this at the time. Can we still get out of here? Casualty report, John. I got it for you. Oh, Confederates geez. lose right. 23 killed, 62 wounded. So in all in all, like, not that huge. Oh, 2,000 captured. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> there's that part yep. of the yep. That's the That's the bad bit. Uh, yeah, the rest of them. Union are gonna lose thirty. Yeah, angels. Union are gonna lose thirty-seven killed and two hundred fourteen wounded. So they do take some. So it, proportion-wise, yes, raw numbers. They lose more men. Well, wounded and killed, not surrendered. They lose more yeah. men wounded and killed, but uh, yeah. proportion-wise, they're, they're which their let's uh, keep a, 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 at least a trifle of humanity about us. Um, and not just <laughs> pretend that these are, are useless numbers. Those are people's, people's uh, lives. Yeah, yeah. Husbands, sons, brothers, uncles, whatever. Because I guarantee whatever. you the and 62 wounded Confederates and the 214 wounded Union, they're not all going to survive. And those no. 2,000 that are captured. Uh, when we I mean, Dysentery's uh, a thing, yeah. and it kills yep. regardless. So. Yep. Anyways. So lots of life lost. Lots but, of life lost. Um, 
at the same time, at least Massive some victory. sort something Union happened. Victory. Like it, yes. it was not just it was not one of these things where we chased them, got them to the shore, and said, "Well, mission accomplished." Bye. No, we, we took them. We took them. That's <laughs> that's the, it. We that got is, it. That is a Confederate. So, and sometimes army. that's the cost of war, and that's yeah. how we're gonna have to think about it from here on out now. Because I mean, this I, I was expecting. A hundred deaths total on both sides no, for this entire be, it's war, be a bit more than that. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, more than that. Not shaping up to be uh, that way. In addition to you know the army that's lost, the two thousand Confederates that are lost, uh, thirty cannon will fall into Union hands. So even less supplies. Thirty for the cannons. Thirty cannons are going to fall into the Union hands. Oh, yeah. So that's <laughs> we got. We're and we can just roll them back out. Use them again. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's just 30 more cannons, cannons that we have. for us. Yep. Uh, and the Union is now going to control the Pamlico Sound, giving a staging point into North Carolina and a backdoor oh. into Richmond. Like, this is like this is our backdoor into Virginia. This is a complete and total Let's stronghold go. in North Virginia. We've got South Carolina, North Carolina. This can last more than 1862. <laughs> How does this last longer than 1862? This is over. 1862, the summertime. The summer, yeah. It By warms spring, up a bit. we're going to be smelling the fresh flowers uh, in smelling, celebration of the Confederates' uh, fresh surrender. cotton. Johnny, we're going to smell fresh cotton growing up in the fields that we've now owned. That'll be nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, we're, gonna have to, work the, we're gonna have to find people find to work workers. on it. Yeah, we're gonna have to find some workers that are willing <laughs> yeah. to do it for a limited pay, as opposed to just profit work. margins are going to be down. The profit margins, are down. no doubt. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Uh, on February 9th, Confederate Brigadier General Gideon Pillow takes command of the combined forces at Fort Donaldson. So, more troops are moving to Fort Donaldson. Gideon Pillow is now the highest ranking, so he's like, "It's mine now." Takes over. Okay. And Lincoln is gonna go on a dictator. A resting spree mm. again. He's bad, arresting people again? Yeah, Where? It's bad news, but I mean, you know, whatever. They're traitors, so who cares? So he's in the first arrest a reporter from New York Herald, a Malcolm I. A reporter. Yeah, journal. He's arresting journalist arresting journalists. From New York Herald named Malcolm Ives, who's I love uh, that. He's arrested for charges of spying or just reporting news, depending on how you want to look at it. He's being a being a journalist. <laughs> yeah. But he's considered a spy for the South, so he's arrested. Now, Tommy, correct me. We got a free press in this country, do we not? Did. <laughs> we did. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought we had. We did. I thought we had had one. Did. Uh, not sure anymore. Not so much. Jesus. But that's his fate is better than Union General Charles P. Stone, who's the commander Wait, of the on. embarrassing uh, balls, uh, bl uh, you know, bluff battle that we had a, a few weeks uh, ago oh, or a month yeah, ago. That woof. didn't, yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> He's arrested and sent to Fort Lafayette, New York, with no charges even given. He's just like, wait, wait. arrested, sent to a fort. Like you fucked up so bad that we're gonna put you in a fort uh, under guard. So he didn't do anything illegal. He was just so inept that allegedly, they considered it a crime. So inept that they considered it a crime. <laughs> and they arrested a general of the United pretty States sure Army. Pretty sure all, of, yeah, pretty sure all of that's illegal, not constitutionally backed. So thank you, Lincoln, for just being the utmost. Again, another notch going down on the. It just. Hey, you want to know what? He's actually going up on my list. I love him more than I've ever loved him. I think he's the greatest president to oh. ever uh, govern over this uh, great nation of ours. And there is nothing that Lincoln has done wrong. I don't think you'll find me saying that at any time. Smart move, um, Johnny. Smart everything's move. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's fine. Hmm. Very smart move on that part. On the 10th, good news returns as General Burnside is able to destroy the remaining Confederate fleet, known as the Mosquito Fleet. This is what Burnside gives them the nickname, the Mosquito Fleet. Oh, okay. Because they're, they're like, just annoying they're annoying. And it's like, and, just yeah, swat them yeah, away. They're gone. Yeah. Yep. He's going to destroy them at an engagement at Elizabeth City. Whiskey's getting to me. Hold on. This gives Union the important... Inland waterway to Virginia, so now they control the whole waterway into Virginia from North Carolina. North Carolina. I mean, we're set there then, right? That's seems, a, I mean, seems like it. On the 11th, Grant's troops begin to move out of Fort Henry towards Fort Donaldson with the Confederate troops abandoning Bowling Green, Kentucky, and moving those troops to Fort Donaldson. So, like... 
We've got I mean, three different it's locations. Legit, like, all everybody's hands on deck. Yeah, everybody's moving to Fort Donaldson. Everybody, yeah, legit. Grant and all the Confederates, everybody's moving to Fort Donaldson. Uh, now might be a good time to attack elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I mean, right? if I, uh, coordinate some attacks. Hey, Lincoln, somewhere. Lincoln, Lincoln, my favorite president. Uh, just a suggestion. <laughs> coordinate, coordinate some attacks elsewhere. Maybe Missouri, maybe Virginia, because everybody's moving to. Maybe Fort down Council. in the south. Maybe this. Maybe this is where you ramp up that New Orleans attack. Yeah, New Orleans, hit New Orleans, New Orleans. Man, some jazz music, some absinthe. I, mean, I can't. Some wait. what? Some absinthe and some jazz music. I can't wait till What's we get jazz there. music. <laughs> Anyways, Jesus, Tommy. <laughs> now, only the Confederate troops left on the Kentucky line. So the whole Kentucky line, this big defense into the south. Like we took, yeah. we went into Kentucky, neutral state. Confederates violated it right. first. Uh, and set up <laughs> oh, so that makes it okay, right? Yep, of course. You know, set up. A, well, I'm just saying, like Union troops are only in Kentucky because mm-hmm. Confederate troops went there first. Yeah, that's the reason. So this whole Kentucky line that's supposed to stop the Union from invading the South yeah, in the happen. West, the only thing that's left is Columbus, Kentucky. Everything else is broken and Whew. down to Fort Donaldson. Bye. Bye is right. On the 12th, Grant uh, troops effectively put Fort Donaldson under siege. Uh, when Grant op- uh, occupies the hills around the town of Dover oh. in a semicircle around Fort hey, Donaldson. Hey. So <laughs> now. I have to. Pre- the Confederates can get troops and equipment in from the uh, how the, from the across the river. Across the river. No, but but at the same time, I would imagine that we have some sort of support on the river. Boats. We, gunboats, we do have gunboats coming. Yeah, the river? we do have gunboats coming down that way. Of they, it can be done. How effective it can be done is is another story. But if so, effectively, the force under siege. So it's like 80% siege. 80% siege. 80% Essentially. siege. Yes, yes. Um, Grant is uh, uh, just waiting for his gunboats to, like, officially surround everything. Yeah. Waiting for them to arrive. And then once they arrive, his plan is to assault the fort in conjunction with the gunboats. Unlike yeah, at start, Fort Henry. Just start shelling it, yeah. basically, right? Unlike at Fort Henry, where the gunboats did all the work because he got stuck in the mud. He's now there before the gunboats, so. Okay, so he'll be ready to go, Fort, and the, they'll start their peppering, and he'll be able to yeah, whoop, yeah, Fort, move in some yeah, actual yeah, troops. Yeah. To, Fort Henry, nice. gunboats did all the work. He got late. He's now there early, waiting on the gunboats to... Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Well, it all averages out in the end, I suppose. Uh, on the 12th, Burnside is also going to take more land as naval forces capture Eddington, North Carolina. North Carolina! Even I more mean, of it's coming out of North control. Carolina. Have, well, no... No. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, the actual state and all the traitors and everything. I'm talking about, like, the people that are there that are like, I just wanted to exist and live. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I don't own slaves. I don't, I, I can't own slaves. I don't, I, <laughs> like, I, I just feel, would like to uh, I, work and, and live. And I feel like a lot of the South is going to be like that soon. Because. Yeah. Meh. Yeah, there's gonna be a whole lot of people that have nothing, no, no skin in the game, to so to say, uh, and uh, I'm just trying. They're to, gonna be affected by it. I'm just trying to operate my tavern, and you guys are fucking and up. Yeah, y- y'all, y'all really come in here and just start shooting your cannons at us when I, I, I don't care what happens to the slaves. Like, let them go. That's fine. Let I just want, I, like, I just want to work in my tavern. I just want to, I want to serve some people some drinks. And y'all coming in here and uh, burning our cities down. You know who's like, not complaining? Any of the stop. gun manufacturers on either side. They're like, oh. we're, we're making money. Uh, no one ever said uh, uh, war was a uh, uh, a charity. A ch- not people, a charity. people make money. People make money. <laughs> like, people, Colt is making a lot of money right now. Anyways, uh, Johnny, this week is going to end with the uh, start of the attack on Fort Donaldson. We get the start of it, uh, Ooh, but spoiler, okay. it's it, like we're we're at the first day. Like the did the gunboats get there? It's and going to next week. Starting? No, it? it's going to next. Starting? Yeah, it's going in the next week. But we got the start. So let me start. Okay, but what started it? Was it the gunboats? Did the uh, gunboats arrive? The battle is going to begin with Union troops under C. F. Smith launching an attack on the Confederate right flank. So. Outside of the fort, the Confederates have a line. They're attacking that right flank. Mm-hmm. 
As the battle begins, Confederate General John B. Floyd arrives, who's now the senior most officer. Oh, my God. I and mean... now <laughs> takes command of the field. Tommy, if you were a part of the Confederacy, you might be one of the top officers at this point in your career. I might, I <laughs> like, might be, yeah. They're just, they're just picking, picking names out of a hat. Picking names out of a hat. Uh, he takes command. The USS uh, Karen Delict begins bombarding the fort. You know, Union Gombos arrive. They begin bombarding the fort. Uh, but the first day's fighting is stalled when weather turns sleet and freezing rain. And the Union troops are like, mm. fuck this shit. It's cold. Yeah. It's raining. Mm. It's co- Especially it's on the freezing water, cold I would imagine. Raining. Yeah. We're done. Yeah, that's enough of that. So we're going to have to leave this here as it plays out for next week. Uh, but there is one last odd final note as West Virginia Convention adopts a provision stating that no slave or free person of color shall come into the state for permanent residence. That doesn't look great. Thank Hold you, up. West Virginia. West Virginia is the par- part of Virginia that we have been like. That's seceded from let's the go, Confederacy. Let's go gung-ho. Bang, you're going to create your own state because you're and so re- anti what the Confederacy is doing. And rejoin the and union. now? They're like, um... They are going to no literally say no African Americans, no black people, or free no slave nothing. is allowed here for, for permanent residence. For permanent residence. So they can pass through it. They can pass through it. If they want. But they can't stay permanent. But to be fair, like... There's wars going on in West Virginia, so maybe you don't want to stay there. <laughs> okay, but also, counterpoint, this is America. And we're supposed to have the freedom to do whatever the hell we want. Johnny and Lincoln, live wherever the hell we want. Lincoln really, and now yeah, we're Lincoln, fighting for the, that same freedom for the freed slaves. Uh, similar freedom for the free slaves and the colored folks. And now we're, you're saying that we're going to start just limiting where they can live. Lincoln pretty much said, uh, you can't talk about the South without being racist. That's it for this week in Civil War in Hindsight. If you enjoyed Civil War in Hindsight, check out Historic Hindsight, where we talk about all kinds of fun things like the Transcontinental Railroad and how Congress has always been accepting bribes and getting away with it.